Okay, this is for you smallmouth fishermen out there. Those of you that's got smallmouth around, what is your most favorite bait to fish for smallmouth? I bet you that I know what it is for a lot of you, for a lot of you. And how many different ways can you fish it? Good morning, guys and girls. July 21, July 21. If you are not subscribed to the Catch of the Day YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button right now. We've got a little over 17,000 people on there. Great, great people. When you get involved in this channel, you're gonna make a lot of friends. You're gonna make a lot of friends. You're gonna have friends that's gonna pray for you. You're gonna have friends that's gonna ask you to pray for them. And I promise you, they, they will pray for you. They will pray for you. It's just really, really good people here on the Catch of the Day channel. Uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it. If you are, share this with eight or ten of your friends. It is the most important channel on YouTube. Uh, Acts 10, 43. This is a great one right here. This is what it's all about. This is why we air this at every morning at 5 o'clock Central Time, a fishing tip, a scripture, and a devotion for every single day. This is, this is it right here, Acts 10, 43. All who believe in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins through Jesus' name. That's the deal right there. All who believe in Jesus will be forgiven of their sins through Jesus' name. Oh, my goodness. That's it right there. That is it. One of the great things about fishing the Bassmaster Classic is that everyone gets a check. That's right. Everyone gets paid. We don't have to do anything but qualify for the Classic. We can zero the entire tournament, which some people have done, and still make some pretty good money for the week. I think the the last classic I fished was ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars for dead last. Dead last ten thousand. And we fish classics a lot of years, and the, the, the younger fishermen have a hard time understanding this. But we fish classics for several years, where you got fifty thousand dollars to win and zero for second place. That's right, zero for second place. We were pretty. Uh, we thought it was great when they started paying down ten places for the classic. But you realize when we started, we had three hundred people fishing in national bass tournaments. Three hundred people fishing in national bass tournaments. Only 24 would make the classic. Only 24 out of 300. So when you made the classic year after year after year, it was just an incredible feat to do. And uh, people like, uh, you probably don't realize this, but my buddy Johnny Morris, the founder of Bass Pro Shop, as he calls it, a little bait store in Springfield, Missouri, the founder of Bass Pro Shop, qualified for the first five Bassmaster Classics. Uh, people like Bill Dance qualified for a lot of them. Roland Martin probably qualified for more than anybody. Ricky Clun may have now, I don't know. Uh, I qualified for 15 or 20 Bassmaster Classics. It's just amazing how difficult it was because if you fished all year and finished 25th place, which I did one year, Ricky Green, my buddy Ricky Green, was 24th. He beat me by like one or two points or something like that. And then I gave him some tips in, in the Classic, and he finished second place in the Classic. It takes on he should have won, actually should have won that Classic that year. He finished second in two different Classics, and Ricky, like me, never won a Classic. Great, great tournament fisherman, though. Tremendous tournament fisherman. God is an all-inclusive God. He wants no one to go to hell. You hear me? God wants nobody to go to hell. If you go to hell, you're going to do it on your own. It's not going to be God that sent you to hell. You're going to send yourself to hell. God is an all-inclusive God. He wants no one to go to hell. His desire... God's desire is that all be saved. And he's laid out the groundwork from this from the beginning of time. From the beginning of time, God has laid the groundwork out of how you and I could get to heaven. He promised his son Jesus to pay for our sins, for all the sins you've committed, all the sins I've committed, or will ever commit. How do we qualify for this? Hi, Ben, how do we qualify for this? This is it. It's so simple, so easy. We believe in Jesus, whom God sent, just as he had prophesied for hundreds and hundreds of years. And here is God's promised paycheck. All sins will be forgiven, no matter how many, no matter how terrible they are, no matter how much trouble they caused. Sin causes trouble, causes trouble for you, causes trouble for a lot of people around you. But no matter how terrible they are, no matter how many they are, no matter how much trouble they've caused you. Jesus has died to pay for your sins. And he rose again on the third day to prove that you and I could rise from the grave also. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. If you wonder why you serve a living God, if you wonder why you serve the God that is so magnificent, so powerful that he hung the moon and stars, this is it. Because he can forgive and will forgive every sin you've ever committed. 
He'll put those sins as far away from him as the east is from the west. He remembers your sins no more. If you're not saved, today would be a great day to get saved. All you got to do is just repent of your sins. Ask Jesus to come into your heart and save you. And he will. And you make him your Lord and sir and Savior. Okay. All right. You think back what we talked about a little bit earlier? Smallmouth fishing, your favorite bait. I bet that several of you set a tube. A tube. That's right. A tube is a good one for smallmouth. Now, you got some variations of that now that they make and, and uh, make them look like a lot of different things. But the tube bait, a tube bait. All right. Here's a couple other things to think about fishing a tube bait. Try jerking a tube bait. Boom, boom, boom. Making it dance boo, boo, around back and forth. Or just swimming it. Just throwing it out there and swimming it back in. You know, my grandson, Lightning, has turned into a really, really good fisherman. fisherman. He's a teenager now, and he's turned into a really good fisherman. And But from the beginning of the time, and he was like three or four years old when he started fishing soft plastics, he swam them. He swam them. He swam them. He swam them. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I, maybe I forgot to tell him that you're supposed to let them drop a lot and drag them on the bottom and do all this kind of stuff. And so he would swim them, and he just caught fish like crazy. Swimming a tube works very, very good. So if you're out there after the smallmouth this summer with a tube, Throw it out there, let it go all the way back to the bottom, slow crank it back in, just swim it back in, see what happens. You get them up in shallow water, try jerking that tube around, pop, 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 let it jump, dive, start moving around, smallmouth go crazy over that kind of action. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today, and remember, yeah, that's right, I sure do love you.